Welcome to the I am kind of too lazy to keep counting here episode of a let's build series in which I want to build a whole quarter with you. In the previous episodes what we did was to build these four houses here and to start this courtyard house over here. It proved to be a little more difficult than I originally thought but we will get over it. So basically what we need to do is to finish the roofs here and then fill in the walls. That will be um, quite a mess. So now for, for the rest of the building on this side, I kind of want to have a different roof. And um, since there's once again going to be a, a house leaned on this right hand side of this building here, I kind of want to have a roof that is going a little bit higher so the house can lean against it because I'm going to make this next house uh, taller than this one just to have once again a big variety in the sizes of the houses so basically the house is going the roof is going to go like this and basically then just end here well maybe just let's just place a few slabs on top right here and then it's going to go like this so that's my plan for now and I do think it doesn't make too much sense to keep these so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it like this so that the roof make kind of makes sense here it, it slowly goes up to the right and on this side however um, I think I should leave some some space here for a window kind of thingy uh, I'm not too sure how, maybe I'm just gonna make it go like this. And then I'm just gonna continue building the roof until here and then make the turn. And I think this, this will turn out to be good looking in the end. The only problem is this part right here. Um, let's skip that for a second, let's just continue it up until here and let's continue this part. And now we see uh, if we were to continue these roofs like that, um, we will end up with a full block here. Um, I don't necessarily think we should do it like this. Uh, we will just make a kind of triangle out of uh, out of s not slabs, uh, planks of planks. There we go. You see the triangle mm -hmm. three blocks mm -hmm. totally um, and then we're just gonna turn it around here and maybe even no that's that would be too much um, and then I'm just gonna place a slab here doesn't look too amazing but let's see what it looks like in the end with everything so um, now over here I'm going to place a plank simply to to cover this half a block that's showing here. Then I'm just going to go like this. I'm not going to make any roof endings because it would have too much of an overhang for the courtyard. And then against the wall I don't quite think... Or should we go a little bit higher? Like one block like this? Um, no I don't think so because it then we'll interfere with this with these stabilizing parts of the crenellations again. So we're just gonna end the roof here and then go slowly down on the other side. Just like this and then we are going to place the rest of the stairs. Uh, this part obviously is not too important because it's uh, not gonna be seen f by too many people. But still, it's always nice to even care about the details at places where people don't usually look. So in case they do look, they get the impression, or not, that, well, they get the impression because it's, it's the truth, that you care about these, these tiny, tiny little details. And that makes for a very nice, very nice uh, look for the whole building. I think a building just looks uh, way better and, and more complete if you also keep in mind that uh, there's there's tiny little places on the back side of the house that can actually make a great impact on the on the overall looks. Okay, so that's that. And that should be about it. We need to place something here. 
Um, um, uh, let's, oops, let's do it like this. Yep, that's better. And I don't like this block here. Okay, so, and now for the rest of this roof here, well, basically it's just this one block. Going across to this side, and then we're, we'll also just fuse it with this kind of roof here. Come on. There we go. Now, as I said, so the, here's going to be a wall. Um, we can start making the frames for that as well. And then there's going to be the next house, that, which is going to be a little bit higher. And this, this seems like a mess right now. Um, it's not looking perfect, but I don't dislike it. And once there is another building to this side, this will change the looks of this totally, because it's, then it's just this, this small encased building here. And um, I, I, like it, I like it from the front, even though in the beginning I, I pictured it to be a little bit taller, but that's okay. So uh, basically my plan now is of course to fill in the walls, which will take a while, I guess. And... Um, yeah, of course, finish finish the frames. So for the first floor here, uh, what frames do we need? So I want to have frame one more uh, solid pillar here. That'll be all right. So this will leave us place uh, space for some windows. Uh, here can be the entrance, and on this side, obviously, I, I think I want to place a window, a, a tiny little window here. So I'm gonna make the frames like this. Um, Okay, on this side it doesn't really matter. It's just going to be some pattern as long as there is a pattern. And since this these three blocks here are lost either way, it doesn't really matter. It's just for the next house leaned against to the side that maybe if it shares the shares the same wall that we have at least a decently um, decorated wall. Okay, moving on to this side, there's not much we can do about here. So the frames for this floor on this side are also done. Also here, so this wall is the last one that remains. Um, and what are we going to do here? I think we are going to do a similar thing that we did at the bottom floor, like this. Um, damn it. Okay, no, we're not going to do that. Uh, what are we going to do? This is an, an even number here again. Uh, what if we do it like this and then... And then... Ah, uh, let's, let's just do it like this. That's okay. Boring, but in this case there's not much we can do about it. Um, okay, then we're just going to continue like this. And then we have this same problem again, but... Well, this time I'm just going to take these. And that's it. And that's it. As you noticed with the previous buildings, it doesn't really matter if this side is co totally plain and on one uh, on one level, um, as it was here. So basically, we are going to cover it up. Now on this side here, now let's let's imagine let's let's place the the floor for the first floor here, um, because we need to worry about the looks of this. Because in the end. I want to make a window here, but it should be about this height. So we do need to make the ground a little bit higher here. Oops, yeah, like this. Come on, like that. So this will be just, um, I don't know what this is going to be for. I mean, basically it's just an, a little extension with a window, so I don't really can't, I can't really think of a practical use for it. Um, especially because there's such a small, such a small uh, room here. Um, I'm not too sure, but we're just, we're just gonna leave it like this. So we need to patch this and on this side, of course, since we are going to be able to see the floor from the bottom, we need to make some extra frames, and I think in this case I'm just going to go with it like this. And then fill the floor in by using slabs, and then I think that should be about it. Yeah, that's, that's okay. 
Uh, unfortunately, we are sharing the, the wall with the previous building, and therefore we are going to end up with this, uh, with this wall where we are going to use a different material here. Uh, let's just say grass for now, just to, to demonstrate it. So we are going to use grass here, but we are going to end up with um, stone bricks here and this mixture of wool and clay. So this will look quite weird in this room here, uh, but as I said in the beginning, and I think I repeated it a few times all over again, uh, this style is about making or being able to compromise. So. Uh, we need to, in or, uh, this wall, um, in order to uh, save some space. Of course, we could build another wall right here, but then this one, once again, would be a room with one block width. And this wouldn't be too nice, would it? Okay, but it, I think it's going to turn out to be fine. And as I also keep repeating, uh, to me, it's not that much that important uh, what the inside of the house looks like as long as the outside looks the way I imagine it. Um, okay, then it's gonna be like this, and that's that's it. No more cross beams for the floor. Okay, now for the walls, I'm not quite sure. I, I do think I want to use cobblestone for the walls at the at the bottom floor. Especially because I want it to be different from this archway here. Um, and since we used, yeah, we used stone brick on the previous building and on this one. And on the archway. Yeah, we, we definitely need cobblestone to break up the pattern. Um, there's not going to be a window on this side. And wait, I, I need... I need... Uh, cobblestone, uh, there we go. cobblestone stairs. And I need... Stone. So I'm just gonna randomize it right from the beginning. Um, because I don't want to fly around this house again. If it's a smaller house, then I tend to just go to the inside as I did for, with the previous ones and just place the the blocks the way I like. Uh, or basically, first of all, place the, the layer of uh, cobblestone and then afterwards change uh, the randomization. But uh, in this case, um, since it's such a huge building, I don't really want to fly around the house five times in order to randomize it. So I'm just gonna randomize it from scratch. There we go. Um, okay, from the inside there's... Uh, I want to have a window here. Uh, do I want to have another window on this side? Um, no, I think, I think one window is enough for here. So a little bit of... Oops, that was here and a little bit of randomization here and there and no let's let's do it like this but also change this block down here and on this side there's going to be a window over here so I am going to do it like this uh, wait and a couple stuff. and let's randomize this one okay I'm not quite sure if I want to have a one block wide door, but if I'm if we have a double door, will that look weird because it will be asymmetrical? I'm not quite sure. If we do it like this. Actually, I like it. I'm rarely using double doors at all, but I can kind of Imagine, especially with the new doors, which I obviously can't place because we are still not running on 1.8 because Essentials is <sighs> not out yet. Um, especially with the new door, it will look good. So this is just um, just a filler. Just imagine the the nice fancy doors to be here, the nice spruce doors. Okay, so this is this is okay for me. Um, now moving on to the next floor. Wait, of course uh, we need to finish it. Here and I do think I need to place a torch in order to you for you guys to be able to see. So let's just or see properly. Um, uh, that's enough for now. Um, so basically over here, oh, we need to to change these stone brick blocks as well. And now we of course encounter something that. I already announced, which is that we are going to end up with two different materials for the walls here. 
It it isn't too bad because it's both stone. Uh, but it would be, of course, nicer to to share the same materials. But as I said, I don't want to use stone bricks for the other building, and I don't want to use stone. Uh, I don't want to use cobblestone for the other building, and I don't want to use stone bricks again for this building. So we're just gonna have to go with it. Okay, now for the for the upper floors. First of all, uh, what I like to do is, especially if I have these kinds of extensions here, I'm not gonna use the same material on all of these three um, kind of wall segments here. I'm going to use cobblestone for this part here um, with a window of course here and for the rest I'm going to use the kind of normal wall material for the first for, for the first story. Um, I simply like to keep some elements in the same material like the bottom floor simply to to mix up the pattern a little bit. Um, and now what, what material should we take? Um, we pretty much took all the variations that I'm using, except for t sometimes, as you can see over here, I'm uh, using uh, birch planks, uh, which makes, on, on, on small buildings, it kind of looks good. Uh, but I do think we can start again with, with wool, but then of course we're not going to change, uh, we're not going to go the same in, in the same order. We're not going to use um, wool for the, for our current building and then cobblestone with uh, with smooth stone and then clay and uh, then blah 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 blah. So uh, after that we're going to mix it up again. Maybe even another building with, with wool, which is always nice to have two buildings of the same material next to each other. Um, but we will see in the end. So let me just quickly go through here. We need to, whoops, we need to um, fill in these as well. And of course, randomize them as well. There we go. And now, of course, we need to fill in these blocks here. There we go. Uh, we can, uh, can we? I kind of want to make an, a little archway here. I don't want to have once again these uh, these these edgy blocks here, even and, and especially because they don't uh, aren't really seen from the outside. So I was thinking about making like this, but it's weird to see this quarter of a block here, and they don't have really a connection to these sides. Um, so maybe like this. Yeah, that's that's better. And even we, we are not gonna make a second story on this side here. So we can even go about it like this, and eh. uh, let's let, let's just concentrate on the walls right now. Uh, let's do it later on. Uh, so a little bit more renovation here, and da -da -da -da. and a lot more wool. Can we access this point somehow? Yeah. Okay. So this is this is actually pretty cool. So um, by accident. I built it exactly the way that we can, for example, place a, a secret here, like whatever, the entrance to a secret hideout or whatever. So this is this is a nice thing to have, um, and especially it's a nice thing to discover if you haven't really planned it uh, to be able to do it. So um, a little bit more here and there and there and there, and I think we are about to run out of time. So we need to do things quickly here. Uh, there's going to be a door here, definitely. This was something that I had in mind all along. So here's going to be a door to be able to hoist things in uh, to the inside of the of the houses, which is, by the way, something uh, that wasn't too too uncommon in medieval times. So basically, a lot of people um, had had kind of like little cranes in um, at the top of, of their houses to be able to uh, get heavier materials up to the to the last floor and not well and not having to um, not having to um, get them through the oh, I can't I can't talk anymore sorry well they don't have to do anything to get them there manually. There we go. Wow. Uh, no, wait. Like this? Yep, like this. And then one here, 
Uh, I think that's it. Of course, this side here. I do want to have a window, but in the middle here. So, yep, that's what I thought. We are running out of time. So I'm just gonna finish these wall segments here. And I think this is about it. For this, I'm going to leave it open. Wait. So I want to have a door here, right? But do I want to have another door here? Like this? Doesn't make doesn't make too much sense. Let's just let's just um, put in a nice window here. This is the last thing I want to do. Uh, just clip, taking the windows and filling them in. And uh, and while doing that, before I forget it, in the next video, I once again. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, forget it. Replace 1712. There we go. Uh, another one that I need to fix here. No. Um, another window. Another window. F fix this. And over here, I need to fix this one. There we go. Oh, I forgot to fill in these walls here. Ah, Jesus. Um, okay. That's really the last thing I want to do here. The absolutely last thing I'm going to do here. Absolutely the last thing. Absolutely. Except for... No, not except for. That's it. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is this is it. This is totally it. So, um, we're still not done with this building, which kind of is a bummer because I thought it would go a little bit faster, but it's okay. Um, so, basically, uh, for the next episode, I want to fix this this roof on this side here to make it the same like it is on this side. Then I want to add some chimneys. Then I want to add. Um, well, I want to definitely um, continue the uh, the road, or basically the randomized path materials up until I reach um, the the doors, and then um, bring in some randomization in the on the archway and finish the rest of the walls on the inside that I forgot now. So, uh, with that, I do think that's very much it. So. As always, I do hope you enjoyed watching this video. I do hope you like this series so far. If you have any suggestions about things that I should do or shouldn't do, or, or things that I build uh, that I should build, then post them in the comment section below. And with that, I do think, as always, please rate, comment, subscribe, join the crew, come and me today. Do you only have to see you next time. Bye bye.